G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Helicon Tex Numbat Cheswig. This is my setup with the Helicon Tex Numbat Cheswig. I got it to go with the Helicon Tex Summit backpack for when I'm walking the Bilbao track. I do have another one which goes with another one of my packs, which is the same colour and all matches. But this one is set up for my camera gear. And it's got my map in there. It's got my compass on that side. And on this side, I've got my EPIRB stroke tracker. Now these are additional little pouches from Helicon Tex and they attach on to the, I think they call it the laminated webbing so you can actually attach small Molly Pals uh, pouches and whatever you want. You've got little holes here where you can attach some carabiners. Now using this with a backpack, if you've got a chest rig or oh, yeah, if, using this with a backpack, if you've got a chest strap, the actual chest strap will go underneath the number uh, straps here. Comfort wise, it's, it's very comfortable. You can't feel any of the extra straps or the harness, if you want to call it. It just feels like it's meant to be there. Another advantage about having one of these with hiking with a backpack is you can transfer transfer some of your weights out of the backpack and into the front here so you're not leaning back with it all and that weight is distributed from front to back a little bit more even hence I've got the actual pouches here to put more things in to take the weight out of the back and also give me easy access now this one I'll show you now because it's got all, most of my camera gear in it will drop down to about a 90 degree. So there's my map section, which I'll show you in a little while. I've got my keys laying in there at the moment. So it just gives you all easy access to everything I want. And as you can see, standing up, I don't have to mess around holding anything. It's just all here. My second camera's there. Spare batteries for the main camera there. Another microphone, which works with this camera. Electronics there keep my neck warm uh, another pocket at the front with more equipment in and you can see it's easy to handle do the zips up and do the zips now I'll take the backpack off so you can actually see the whole thing whilst I'm wearing it so first under my chest wig or my chest strap and take it from underneath the harness here and then just like normal, I can take my pack off then. That, that's my pack out of the way. Again, if anything happened and I had to drop my pack, I could always make this up before I go out as an emergency one. Like I said, I've got my compass here, my EPIRB there, I could throw a first aid kit in here, a fire starting kit, anything like that. It can be used for your EDC, your everyday carry gear if you wanted to. The possibilities of what you can do with it are just endless. Now let's show you the harness. It's not a very large harness. Like I said, it's comfortable. It's very lightweight harness on it. The total weight of the pouch and the harness is just under five, uh, 500 grams. Or I should say about what they say, 485 I think it was. So only a few grams under. Now getting this off, you can either undo all the buckles and take it off and then the harness will fall off. Or you can undo the buckles on either side. The way I do it, which is just as simple, with less hassle, is I undo the one here. And then I just lift it over my head. And that's it off. The Helicon Tex Numbat Pack. I cheated a bit, I looked at the label inside. 
it's also called by a lot of people the chess rig uh, chess pouch so your choice but they actually call it a chess pack you can see along the middle here and across the bottom you've got your pals webbing attachment points the laminated we've got some holes here and here and in that one here and also in the ones going across the bottom so you can attach anything you want to that a piece of string holding something on a carabiner so it feels really nice and strong tough no actual sharp edges on it so some of this sort of thing the laser cut it just feels a bit sharp but this has none of that it's like the it's been finished off really nice your two expandable pockets a bit tight at the moment but overuse these come slightly looser but not enough to stop you using the pocket and things falling out the pocket goes on oh my it goes from the bottom to this point where you get in and then it continues up here under the flap at the top so you can fit fairly large things in there second one here like i said on the bottom you can see we've got attachment there uh, we've got the bungee carry a knife underneath there like i do at times or uh, your extension pole for your camera one thing i wish i'd done is just made that an inch or two longer so you've got a little bit more expansion and just tighten it up but i suppose for a bushcraft range just carrying a knife or saw that's just perfect buckles are the Rujin buckles very nice the back of it here is padded with a mesh over the top now that mesh helps disperse the heat so you don't get so sweaty and perspire so much wearing this in the summer i did feel like i was overheating but using it in the winter it's like an extra layer of warmth it sits on my chest here so this panel here is kept warmer so i'm not going to be as cold but in the summer with it sitting on there and that's one of the areas that normally cools me down that was prevented so i did overheat a bit but cooler weather that's fantastic there's your harness on the back it's a mesh which helps you not overheat or keeps you a little bit cooler what else have we got on here that's it on either side at the bottom we have these two little pools what they're for is when you're doing your zip up so you just hold on to that and it makes it easier to close the zip and to use your zip also we have little loops on each corner made out of power cord so you can attach anything to them this is what i use to try it with my pack but like i said there wasn't much support so it was bouncing around and it just wasn't as comfortable so that's why i prefer wearing the actual harness that comes with it look at the zip there's no name on the zip but it feels pretty good the zip has got that dust protection over the top and with this being a cordova fabric the 500d it's going to be fairly waterproof or water resistant and with this fabric over the zip the dust protector is also going to co uh, protect you from water getting in there it's not going to stop it nothing will unless it's completely sealed but that's going to stop say 99 percent if not more of the water falling on it so if you are going to wear this and you don't have a poncho you're going to be fairly safe and whatever you've got inside is going to be fairly safe and it'll keep dry to a degree the zip is a two-way zip like a power cord pulls on it and it's got like a shrimp shrink wrap a lot thicker and stronger than the one the electricians use by the feels of it so it's very nice so now let's get on the inside and now i'll drop down 
to basically a 90 degree angle when I'm wearing it. Pull this back out of the way to make it easier for you to see. Now, first thing you'll see is this power cord adjuster. You can tighten it up and that's not going to go any further. Loosen it and it'll drop to the 90. Simple, but very effective. Then we've got a little, uh, the hook part of the hook and loop which we'll just undo, and that's holding this middle panel in place. And now that can drop down. And on the back of the panel here, you have some hook and looping. So if you get one of your EDC insertings with the hook and loop attachments, they can just sit on the back and you'll give yourself some extra pockets of storage to store batteries, blades, knives, whatever you want. This section here, as you can see, is my map section. It's got my map in and it's got the plastic cover, the waterproof, so when I open it, I can see that without worrying about my map. I don't really have to worry about it because my map is waterproof anyway, but that's very good if your map isn't, or if you want to store anything in there that isn't waterproof, you can put it in there, so when you open it up, it's protected from the rain. I pull that centre one up and put that back down, and as you can see, that's not going to fall. Stitching wise, construction of this, very high quality. I've had a good look over this one and the same as the other one I've got. There's no stitching that's frayed or sticking out or it, it, it's all good. Now what we'll see here, this side mirrors this side. So I'll show you mainly here, but I've got my second camera in here with my what we call it, a Falk Neven DC4 knife sharpener, my sharpening stone. These are for the Osmo Action. So what's that, that's about an inch and three quarters by an inch and a half. Now I've got two in these small pockets here. There's one, two, three, and there's one behind this. So I've got four of these smaller pockets with two batteries in each of these three. Along the front is elastic webbing and that's what's holding my camera in place. It holds it in nice and secure. And then behind each row, double row, there's a single pocket, which is the same height as this and goes all the way to the bottom, the same, and that's on both sides. So you've got multiple options of what you want to store in here. If you're using it for your EDC, You'll have your fire kits, multi-tool, uh, water purification kits, or whatever in here. You've got all the options to set it all up. Space at the bottom in the middle is a good two, two and a bit inches going across there. So as long as you don't have anything at the bottom too tight and holding that, you're going to get plenty of space down there to, I don't know, throw your pens and, or even a second knife or your shemug, and as you close it, that's just stored in the bottom section here. Now on the opposite side, very similar to this side, but different still. Again, we've got the two pockets here, and then the main one behind the same on the other side, but the ones at the front are not as big. Now this will give you an idea how big they are. This is a, from the, What's the ultralight hiker? This is their Dyneema uh, passport cover. So that's the size of a passport, about an inch thick, and that slides in there nice and comfortably. Uh, and this one I've got batteries for my EPIRB, my tracker. Again over here, I've got one of those batteries, my microphone to the camera here. And then behind all these, instead of it all dropping folding down like the other side with the map section. Let's say that out, we have a zip. Again, we have a power cord. No shrink wrap on this one, but easy to use. So what's sitting in here? Spare map, another battery, and my, what's that? The Helicon Tech's water filter bag. And I've still got room in this to expand it further out, put more things in there. 
but I've got it to the point where it's comfortable on me. And it's not, how can I put it? You know when you get something and it's just over full and when you're looking for something or trying to get to something, one and the others fall out and I don't like it getting that full. I like it to the point where it's easy to get things in and out and I can use it without losing anything. So again, let's put that back in there. That's gone in nice and comfortable. Uh, what else can I say about it? I like it, I do. Now, I do prefer wearing it with the harness on. Like I said, it's a lot more comfortable. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw my car keys back in there down at the bottom bit. That's one of the things they don't have in here, is a loop to attach your car keys to. I suppose you could put it over the power cord of the adjuster thing there, but yeah. But that, still, there's plenty of room at the bottom for my keys. Now I'll be using this one with my Summit backpack for walking on the Bilbo track. That's why it's set up with all my electronics. I have a second one which goes with my Helicontex uh, Matilda pack and it works great with that. It, it'd work great with any pack you use. As like I said, you can still get your chest strap on to, of your pack, which sits behind these. You can still get it around your, your, the straps here, sorry. They'll go around under your arms out the way, so they're not being pushed down by any of your chest straps or the actual backpack itself. And that mesh sits fairly high up your back, between your shoulder blades, not far below your neckline. So there's very little uh, pressure going onto you there, or anything pushing onto it to make it uncomfortable. So if this has given you some ideas, and you've liked the video, and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click on the notification bell next to that and select all and click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.